Hi guys, welcome back to Happiness Colours Kirby Rosance. Today I'm going to be finishing the page um, from this book, World of Colour, the moth page. I did do that in a video the other day. It wasn't the best and all I can do is apologise. It was out of focus, it was shaking. I was just really, really nervous and I did it. It was the third time of filming that section the other times the first time i did it i had to press record the second time we couldn't get it onto my iphone so i had to go out and buy a computer i've got a laptop now and we're all good to go and i just wanted that video up so it was out there and i could say it was my first color video like i say it wasn't the best i do apologize i had somebody complain that they couldn't hear me I replayed it back and I'm not too sure if there was something wrong with that person's playback but I could hear it. I hope I am louder on this video than I was last time. I hope I am clearer and will try and not, you know, focus in too much. I have got the arm on a stable base now so it's not on my table so when I colour hopefully it won't shake. And that's all I can do about apologize again thanks for everyone who did actually watch it and did like it you know giving me that chance so today i've now completed the moth like i said i would do and we're working on the background i have actually finished um i have started the background sorry because i didn't want you to be watching me for 45 minutes you know i'll show you a little bit like i did last time i will complete the page with you then we'll go on to add in you know like the posca and stuff like that so let's get into it so like i say the book is world of color the picture i'm working on is from mythic world so it is also in that book now as you can see i'll just bring you in a little closer bear with me a second long one bring you in closer there we go i will zoom back out when we're I think that's close, I'll get it for now. Um, I have done clouds in the background, as you can see. I was going to just use my stencil and a blender brush, you know, with my Tim Holtz distress inks and do the background, but then I thought not everyone has distress inks. And also, I want to try and get more into doing my own backgrounds or doing something different, like I did on the spider page from last month where I did the brick wall. And I love clouds. I'm trying to work on getting my clouds a bit better. So what I wanted to do is I looked at clouds in one of Kirby's books and in Worlds of Wonder it is. So I've got the book here to show you. And on the, I think it's a crane page. I think it's a crane anyway, I'm not too sure. This is my spare book I have actually, you know, I am working on completing that's my favourite page, I love it, I can't wait to do that one again. Anyway, this page, and I love the clouds at the bottom, as you can see, and at the top of the page. And what I wanted to do was just recreate those clouds on this page. So what I did is I got some tracing paper off Amazon, and I traced, I've got a piece of tracing paper, put it on there and just went over it. Once I'd done that here... I turned it over, did the pencil all over the back. I then randomly chose places throughout the page where I thought the clouds would look best. I just went back over them. I then, using my black pen, I went in then and went over the very, very faint pencil marks and did the clouds. Now, I'm using three shades of blue. Obviously, you don't have to shoot, you choose a correct, you know, the same colours as me this is the black pen that i use on my um outlines it is a very good one it's the uni pen fine line um water and fade proof pigment ink i just really love these pens they are brilliant this one it does have a clip on it um but obviously and it's all full of dog bites because the puppy got it so yeah that's the black pen that i use now also the colours I've been using as well. I just also wanted to show you this. My daughter, maybe this, my daughter Chloe, she'll be very embarrassed that I'm showing it. 
um, it's just a pencil box just to keep your pencils in because I had have a problem these are me favor and um, me polychromos and the other day like I say I was there coloring and before I know it two of the pencils the dog got hold of and chewed them I was absolutely devastated to say the least so she's made me this pencil to keep the colors that I'm actually using in so it's a lovely little box I think she got it from Amazon and obviously she's painted it herself for me so there's a lovely one on this side. and this is the best bit I love keep calm and colour Kirby Rosans. just how cool is that sorry for the camera shake then like I say Dougie he's 11 months old now and um, Shih Tzu and he's having a mad five minutes so he jumps onto the settee then and knocked my car hence the the camera so yeah that's my box and um, so obviously now when I'm not colouring my pencils go in here and he can't get to them um, I do have a pencil case for them but you know what it's like when you're using certain colours and you just don't really want to be putting them away every five minutes um, when you're going to be colouring again so anyway let me get on with it I'll tell you the colours that I'm using again I'm using the polychromos if you don't have these pencils you know just choose three blues I've chosen a very dark blue which is um, I can't even pronounce that endothene blue 247 I don't know if we can get you in on that if you can see that clearly I've not got a clue how to pronounce that I do apologize let's hope I have better luck cobalt blue 143 and then the lightest color I've got is the light ultimate green 140 okay so what I've been doing like you say is I just drew the you know the pencils in and what I'm going to do is show you what I was doing now whenever there's a, like a break or a curve let me just bring you in a little bit further just so you can see a little, little bit but we're not going out of focus because I won't let it happen there we go again if you can hear the dog running around he's having a mad five minutes so wherever ever there's a dip or an arch I'm going to put the darkest colour so in here that one's working around there so what I'd do is just put the darkest colour at the bottom and then working our way up and then I always leave the top of the cloud white you know so it bring our lightest colour in the very top there so this one here is a bigger cloud it works all its way around so what I'll do is I'll put a dark colour on top of that one just like I've done here if you can see there I've done the darker colour the mid colour and into the lightest colour here we've got part of a cloud there so I will just using circle emotions just work around and do the base on that one over here is another one I'm using circle motion bring in my darkest colour and what I do is I just do it section by section so we'll just fill it in I, that camera is shaking isn't it oh, I do apologise I put it somewhere and I didn't think it shaked as much I do apologise my shelves will be going up my son um, is a builder and he's very busy at the moment so I, you know he doesn't live with me like I say um, so he's got his own place so him coming here after work he's you know I can't really expect him to do that I don't really want to mind him too much they have their own lives now don't they but he's going to he's um, got quite a, a lot of work on at the moment so obviously that comes first but hopefully we will get them up over the weekend so again we we'll do the darkest colour at the bottom and bring it up now over the top again is like a new a new one so what I'll do is I'll just go over the top and 
you don't have to follow what I'm doing. Like I say, everyone's their own person. You don't have to do what I do or what I say. You know, just do your own. But this is just the way I've been doing it. I miss this bit here because obviously we go in on the clouds and then we go above the clouds because that's making a, a shadow. So I'll bring this one down, go across here and then go over these here. Again, we've got a loop in the cloud, so I put it in the darker colour there, and then on the top of where the cloud shape is. Like I say, you don't have to follow me, it's just this is how I've done this page, and I did tell you guys that I would come on and um, show you how I was doing the particular background for this page. So I've just left the top section so I can do for you. Um, this last page I did on, like I say, was the um, spider page with the brick wall and I had so much fun doing that. It was just brilliant. It was just one of them ideas what came to me late at night and I thought, yeah, spider, brick wall. And I really, really enjoyed doing that. So I just wanted to think of something else rather than, you know, just leave it. Like at first I toyed with, well, should I do it, you know, like trees in the background or bring it through you know like and just do dots or something like that on a black background and then I thought no it's a moth and we'll have a flying in the sky so all I'm doing is just going over the darkest colour going over the top of the darkest colour and bringing that this is my mid blue now okay so again just go over all the blues leaving some space if you can especially in the big cloud sections these in between sections it's you know you can fill these and it doesn't really matter so going over the darkest blue you can bring it up as little or as far as you want do the section we'll just bring that right up at the side there so that one. this one again keep turning your pencil as you are colouring because it will keep you to the point and then like I say I am quite heavy handed like I did say in my last video so and I always try and work in a circular motion when I'm colouring rather than side to side or up and down and then you just you know it, it tends to blend a lot better a lot easier so bring that in again work on this section now sometimes times I do like when I was working on the wings, I only do a certain part at a time. This time I've just been doing it in sections, you know, starting from the bottom, working it up slowly. Now these are looking a lot darker than that, so I think I'm pressing on a lot harder. I can always go over the other ones and go on harder if it does, you know, it does turn out that the top is darker than the bottom or... I'll see how it looks anyway. So because this is the top one, I'll just bring this out quite far. I just push that paper in because I'm getting a line. I always as well do keep a cover underneath the page that I'm working on. I just use, um, if you go into your local craft shop, we have one called The Works here in the UK. Um, and I just get packs of paper of um, 12 by 12 sheets. It's from when I used to do my card card making. And um, I've still got quite a lot of them. So I just use a piece of that. It hangs over a lot. But it also gives me a chance to do my colour testing at the side as well. What I'll do is just bring that blue over the top and round. And bring it up into them clouds to give it a bit of... that shape okay then we're going to the lightest blue like I say light ultramarine and then what I'll do is I'll go over those two colors and I will just leave a touch of the white on each cloud you don't always have to on the in-between ones this one I didn't use the cobalt on that one I forgot 
how's everybody doing? I, I, I'm so grateful for everybody who's joining in with this month's tag. Um, the colour theme is autumn. Um, this is one of my pages. I have already completed one, um, which was the green man. And I really love doing that page. It's one page that I was looking forward to doing so much. And a lot of other people have also completed that page for this month's tag. Which, if you're not too sure what the tag is, it's hashtag Kirby Autumn 2022. And what I do is now I'm going to start every month on the first of every month. I'll announce a new theme. And... If you fancy joining in, it's basically choose any Kirby page from any of your books, Kirby's, and then just whatever the theme is that particular month, colour that page. Right, this month it was autumn, so a lot of people have been colouring. You know, like, like I say, quite a few people have done the green man, and it's just amazing to see, you know, like how many, how we all see a page differently, and what colours we use, and how different they look in, you know, in, in overall, it's just blown me away that people you know like everyone's enjoying it. I've had so many lovely comments saying thank you you know like for doing the, the challenge it's getting people back into the Kirby books and that's all I want I just want everyone to love Kirby books and really enjoy you know his artwork and stuff like that we don't know if like I say after Alien Worlds what comes out I think it's March I don't know if you know Many, if he's going to do another book after that we're not too sure so he's got lots and lots of books out and amazing books um, so let's just all enjoy them and now I'm getting into the colouring on camera and getting a bit more confident in myself you know like I say the lovely comments you know really do help but I do want people as well if they have any criticism please message me and let me know and I will try and amend that sorry I'm off the page then all I've done is just work to the end of the page so I'll do round this section again with you guys on camera and then once I've done this section I'll show you then how I will be finishing the page up by adding in a bit of Posca so again with my darkest colour on each of the clouds I'll do just a little line of my darkest colour again in circles so we'll do a bit of dark here I won't take it all the way to the edge there because that's where I've brought in the lightest again into this one and it's just basically what I'm trying to do is I don't think I've explained it very well I just want to try and get the bottom of each cloud I've drawn them in they're not all perfect but just try and get each of the cloud a lot of people like you say um use stencils now for their their clouds <coughs> which look like this i do have a stencil this is one i've had for a very very long time it's got two lots of you know different ones on it so you've got like four different ways and then all i do is put that on the page and then just get my blender and work over the top using blues and then just pull it down double different angles and all the way you know across the page you can do different do it diagonally and it does look really really good when you know you do that i have seen quite a lot of people like i say i have done that before in some of my pictures and again i know that i will do one you know next time i get a, a pink blank page but i just wanted to do this one as a full color page and you know use the pencils in the background I do love using my pencils. I, I like my um, Derwin Ink Tents. Um, they're brilliant for doing a base layer if you've got a really, really busy page um, and you want to use Derwin Ink Tents. They are just brilliant. They lay down so nice on paper and like I say, the colours are just immense when you, when you use them. And, you lay them down and as soon as you activate them the colours are just like pop I would have used them in this background but like I say I wanted to just carry on using the pencils that I was using to complete the page just for those who you know 
were interested in me doing this page and showing you how I actually coloured it so I wanted you to be aware of how I was going to do the background and you know like I say for those who want to follow along that's great I'd love to see anyone's pages if they've done something similar, similar or used the combination I've used in the um, the butterfly, the moth, sorry, itself. Um, it's that's them colours are actually what inspired me to pick autumn this month, because I was started this page like I say for the Halloween page, um, with it being Silence of the Lambs, and then as soon as I saw those colours, I, th I just want to do the Green Man in similar colours. I hope everybody out there is well, you know, is doing well and everyone's starting to get, you know, looking forward to Christmas and, you know, it's going to be a bit of a quiet one this year. I'm not too sure you, because this will be the first year that, like I say, myself and the children are no longer, like, all under one roof. My daughter, Katie, she's a fabulous cook and she's got her own place now with her partner and the baby so we're all going to her Christmas day I'll go and visit the family you know I'll go and see my mum and oh, they'll probably come down Christmas Eve to see the, the grand, or her great grandchildren I'm looking forward because um, my grandson who's two is kind of getting the thing of Father Christmas, he knows he gets, you know, Father Christmas is going to be bringing him toys. And he knows if his mummy, you know, gets toys, she has to send them off to Father Christmas for Father Christmas. Only to bring if he's been a good boy. So that's quite fun. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to him coming. Maybe Boxing Day or a couple of days after and having a couple of days at mine. His Christmas present is actually staying at mine. Well, I'm looking forward him to him seeing his face when he sees that because he keeps asking for a kitchen off Nana. So that's going to actually have to be set up a few days before. Oh no, sorry, that's for his birthday. I do apologise. The kitchen's for his birthday, which is um, in two weeks. So I don't have long to wait. Um, so yeah, he's getting his kitchen for the birthday and then getting him a few bits and bobs for the kitchen and for Christmas and things like that but he he just loves cooking he makes me laugh he always cooks me pasta tuna bake when he's here and he gets me pans out the kitchen and his toy pasta and he always says parma, parma, parma cheese nana he's only two he's a sweetheart the best thing ever so as you can see I'm just basically working over all the line that I've done doesn't it you know working it in just do this section here the darkest area I do hope the camera's not shaking as much as it did when it was attached to the camera it's on my cart next to me where I store a lot of my stuff um, I don't have a lot of room I used to have a massive craft room and I loved it loads of space but now I'm just in my one bed little flat and there's not much room so I just have my table in the corner of the living room and have my stuff in here and make the most of the space like we do. So now coming in with my second colour and what I'll do is just work into that colour and bring it up here and blend it into that blue leaving space for the third one. If you don't have space, don't you know it's entirely up to you how much little you leave. I'm not just working over that blue, like I said last time with these cut polychrome ones. <coughs> Everyone blends them differently, but because I'm quite heavy handed, they do just automatically seem to blend into each other quite well. These colours that I I picked for the clouds so that one there's not a lot of room so I'll just colour it all in and like I say keep turning your pencil keep that 
sharp points if you can. You get a lot more colour with the sharp points. It did take me a while to figure that out because I used to, you know, work with pencils till they were basically flat because I kept thinking the least I sharpen them the more colour I get out of it. It's a lot easier to colour with a sharper pencil. Like I say, that colour goes down a lot easier. A lot of people use blending pencils. I personally don't have any blenders. I'd like to try one, but it's just not something I've actually bought and tried. I use a cotton bud, an air bud, and go over the colours if I feel they need a little bit more blending. Just get your cotton bud and just work over where your blends are. And you will see the colours move round, it is really good actually. Um, I started doing that with my Artezas. And I don't think I've actually tried it with these polychromos. A lot of people use Gamsol. Um, I was actually going to get some of that. But I'm more than happy with my blends. The way I get them too, I quite like it. So. I'm not going to pay for something that I don't think I'll use. There is one thing I am looking forward to getting or trying. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys, if you don't, check her out because she is really, really good. Debbie from Colour Me Stress Free. She's found a hack. An awesome hack. A way that we can now use um, your alcohol markers in any colouring book um, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head but there's this paste that she uses because Debbie loves doing her watercolours in books and she tried gesso and you know tried using alcohol markers over the top and it did bleed through to the next page and then she's found this stuff well she's not found this stuff she's had this stuff for a long time that she applies to her pages first for when she wants to do watercolour and it, it just saves it going through to the next page and it makes the tooth on your page more like a, you know, to accept watercolour. Anyway, she was just trying it the other night and just thought, I wonder what it'd be like with, you know, an alcohol markers and she tried it and it was absolutely amazing over the moon that it didn't bleed through. And it's um, one of her videos, if you go on to, like I say, Debbie at Colour Me Stress Free and have a look for the video, it says like, you know, like a, a hack and it's, it's, just, it's just like in a little tub, she said it is a little bit expensive, but it's so worth it, how good would that be to use alcohol markers in curvy pages. I'm not particularly keen on alcohol markers I'd rather use pencils eh? I don't know I just get so much more enjoyment out of pencils and it takes a lot longer to work with pencils if we're doing this background in alcohol markers it had been done and dusted and I'd be halfway through my next page now probably but I just personally prefer to use pencils I've got the you know full set of tri-blends spectrum no tri-blends I've got the Pens, you know, the pens, the 180 set of them, um, Spectrum Noirs, the normal pencils. I've had them for years, and to be honest with you, I think I may have used them two or three times, even when I did my cards. I just could not get them to blend at all, and that's really why I never got into adult colouring because I couldn't get them to blend. It wasn't, you know, I'd sit for hours and watch people colour with them and no I just could not get the hang of it I did it on you know a few like Christmas cards and stuff like that I'd you know get a couple of reds and try and match them and you know blend them out but it just wasn't for me with alcohol markers but this stuff that Debbie's found now and that you know gives the chance of using alcohol markers in Kirby's pages is absolutely brilliant I'm sure there'll be a lot of people who will be going out and going onto Amazon to get this this paste. I can't remember the name of it. It's doing my head in now. I was only thinking about it before as well. 
No, it's going to help my head, I can't have it. So you'll have to have a look there. If I do um, remember in a little while, I'll put it at the bottom of the page and link it to Debbie's video. But please go and check it out. Debbie is brilliant at her pages. She is a fantastic colourist. So go and check her pages out. And she's done some fabulous Kirby pages as well, if you've not already. I can say check to her out. You probably have if... You've been on YouTube, you know, a while, because like I say, another um, YouTuber I've been watching a lot of lately is um, Jen's Colouring Corner. I was watching some of her videos the other night, and before you know it, it was like half past three in the morning, and I'm still lay there watching her, you know, she was using her ink tents on the Mechanical Beetle page, and... Oh, it's a, it was brilliant. I just really enjoyed watching that, watching her create the golden blends using ink tents, pencils. You know, the Derwent ink tents was just brilliant. It was, it was lovely to watch. So I, I've been watching her video a lot lately and picked up quite a few good tips for when adding the water to the ink tents. Usually, I just work through light to dark you know in like his putting normal all paintings there but Jen dabs her colours and it looks so much easier the blend it looks really good fun so I'm looking forward to doing something next with my ink tents so if you're interested in me doing you know a certain page or something like that we've only got what five days now in this month so I've got one more page on the go that I'm doing for this month's tag of uh, autumn. So for those again who are not too sure, again it's um, hashtag Kirby Autumn 2022. And even if you just go on there on Instagram and just put that in and you'll see some of the brilliant pages that you know some people have done it's really really good fun i'm over the moon and i can't thank people enough for joining in it makes me feel you know like people are obviously you know reading my instagram and you know looking at my video and you know i am enjoying it i've got um already the tag the theme for december so that one's already you know in the process of me getting everything done and what I will be doing in the next few days is getting the video getting the pictures ready off Instagram and I will be when I do my completed pages for this month again it's only going to be a month where I've done a couple of pages which I'm really gutted about I wish I had done some more colouring but I seem to have been having trouble getting these videos onto YouTube so I have been spending a lot more time doing you know working on the YouTube and trying to get that up and running so I can add my videos to the page so like I say I was actually going from side to side then to try and fill this space up a little bit in the light of colour but if you go over the top you can see the marks where I've scribbled so if you go over the top of them and the blend the colours in it does go down a lot easier and I think what I'm going to do is in a minute so I'm going to try the q-tip and see if it will blend in any easier than you guys can see it you know see if it does actually work with the polychromos and I'll just keep going over this section and this is like burnishing as well I always said I always burnish with my lightest colour so I do go over the top so the colours are burnished in you can see a line there just go over the top I hope this video comes across a lot better than the last one I was so disappointed in myself actually putting the last one up and not doing it again but I think because I've tried it was like the third time and then like I say my friend god bless a cat 
much as a diamond. I love her to pieces. She persevered and persevered trying to get that video off the camera onto iCloud and it just wasn't having it. She tried everything and then after about three days we, <laughs> we realised that it was a very old laptop which we knew and it was Windows 8 so it was basically a load of not very good I'll put it that way. Just bear with me a second. Let me just see if I've got a Q-tip at this side. Of me. Just bear with me one second and I'll just grab one. I won't be a minute, guys. Hi, guys. I'm back. Sorry about that. These are the Q-tips earbuds I was talking about. They are very cheap. I think this is a box of 300 and I think they were 79p or something. So what I'll do is I'll just bring you in a little bit more. Hopefully you'll be able to see now that when I go over, you just go over just with, you know, quite a bit of pressure and just do circular motions. It does come off on your Q-tip so you know you've got colour there to move around at least so in this section if you see there I'm trying to go as easy as possible so I don't it does actually blend like if we say say here if you go around and also if you take it into the white and do circular motions it will move that other colour further into the white see how it's gone there so it does work just go over you do have to put a bit of pressure on there going down just the side of this that's why I'm not doing circular motion just because I don't want the colour then to go into my mouth let's see what it does here you can see I've got a little bit of white there so you just go over circular motions and it does blend together just like a blending pencil well a blending pencil they'd probably do a better job but I'd rather pay 79p and have 300 of these than what 15 pound on it that shows how much pressure was put in on it's actually bent out of shape doesn't matter though so we'll just do this little cloud here again see let's push down little circles and again, blends them colours that little bit better up here. I don't want to shake the camera too much, so I don't want to press too hard or go too fast. And just bring it to the top. So yeah, the Q-tip in my eyes is just as good to blend those colours together you will get them so that's how I've completed I'm going to complete I've only got a little bit more to do which is on let me just pull you back up Put back in the right position there we go and I'll zoom you back out I'll zoom you back out hey oh that's zooming in See, there we go. So I've only got that little corner to do, which I'm not going to do now on, you know, here. Obviously, you know, I've got the darker colour to the top, working out with a few darker sections in between where, you know, I've had a bit more. These aren't that good blended yet because I've not been over them properly. I just wanted to get some colour down so you could see how the page is going to be finished. So... What I'll do is, in, I'll just show you now on this corner what we've just done, that I will, let me just have a little go, over and just blend these out a little bit, because the colour does go slightly into that white, so it does make it, you know, a bit more cloudy, but not using, you know, a bit lighter than the lightest colour. Makes, makes, to me, it just makes it look a little bit more not as white, trying to get a bit of the white, I still want to have a white space 
but not as white as it was. And then we'll go into these ones again. My camera is really shaking, I do apologise. So there we go. Use this down here. And if you start noticing that you're dragging too much colour out, obviously, just get another Q-tip. Then you're not dragging as much as the blue into your lightest areas. work quite well but I'm quite pleased with them. But these like I say I have I use I always use these on my RTs or pencils for blending and I know a lot of people who are watching especially if you are a beginner and you you know you do like the Kirby pages but they seem a bit overwhelming. You know or if you're not been colouring that long you're not gonna have the polychromos. Um, because they are like a pencil that you do work up, work up to. Um, I use my Arteza for the majority of the pictures in my Kirby in Worlds Within Worlds. Sorry about that black mark then it was on the screen. It was um, the cap off the camera. Sorry, so I do apologise for that. So yeah, if you just go over using you know your q-tip like I say you can blend out and it's just masked the little white marks on there now what I will do is um, I'd use my just get them out I bought these the other day I've not tried them out yet it's the oh who who is it called um, marker pens the acrylic paint markers I bought these um, the other week treated myself so you've got the light blue as well in this one so what I'll do is I'll get these I think it's these three that I'd be looking at using obviously I used a lot of the white first but I do want to try using highlights in lighter colours that I'm doing so what I'll do is if you just give me a couple of minutes I'll get off and um, because these like I say brand new I've not even swatched them yet you know all the nibs are brand new and you've got to you have to shake the pen up quite a lot first and then activate it and um, so I think you know quite a few of you will know already know how to activate them so I'm not going to show you now but um, just give me two seconds I'll activate these and then I'll come on we'll do a swatch of the three there's a darker one there but that's going to be too dark there is but that's like more of a minty colour I think I think it was 60 colours you get there's a gold in there and there's a silver I think it's either 40 or 60 colours and it, it was very reasonably priced so I thought why not you know give them a go I do love my paint markers and they've also got numbers on the caps so I think you get a colour thing inside the pack I can't remember where I put it I think it's here is it this one no it's not that one I'm showing you how to you know activate it um, I'm sure there is a, a card somewhere so you can do a swatch. There, no, there are numbers on the lids so that might just be for doing your own swatch. You know, doing them and they don't have colour names on them. Um, what I do like about these as well is the clear barrels. So I'll be able to see as the um, acrylics running down. So that's what, you know, I'm quite looking forward to getting to use these. So what I'll do is, like I say, I've got my three blues out, what I'm looking at, I think this one's going to be really too dark, but we might fit it in somewhere. Um, so I'll get these two up and running, get the fluid going, and then I'll come back to you. Okay guys, bear with me, two seconds and I'll be right back. Hi guys, I did the same again. I activated the pen, did a bit of talking, realised they hadn't pressed record. So... I did activate the other two pens, they're lovely, lovely colours in the activate, so 
lovely. Um, this was the darker blue I picked and the lighter blue. Neither of them are actually what I'm looking for, so I am just going to use the oh ho oh ho oh ho ho is it called or oh, hoo hoo um, acrylic painter um, acrylic paint marker. I'm just going to add some highlights to the clouds. I had did I had done them here a minute ago, and what I'll just do is I'll just show you how I did that. Basically, just get your white marker of your choice, whether it's a Posca or a light fine liner anything and just go around just adding marks where you'd like your highlights to be you don't always have to be all the way on what you've done before just add the highlights into the clouds and it just adds that little bit more of an effect i'm showing that there is highlights there so as before with the um q-tip i was taking the lightest color into these areas so it does actually show up the white a little bit better they don't have to be thin marks you can make a mistake or it's thin as you like it's entirely up to you it's just adding that little bit extra to the pages and just add that bit more fun to it so that's it for that's how i'd complete my page I will work all over the clouds. I'll finish this top right hand corner up here in a set in a minute and then I'll go through and I'll use my Q-tip on the rest of the page to blend them out. The top part is darker than the bottom part so I'll probably darken some of these areas up, some of these clouds and that and what I'll do is once I've done all that I'm not going to sit here and keep a wobbly camera while I'm coloring so I'll complete all the page and at the end of this video I will show a photo of my completed page again I just wanted to thank you all so so much for watching this video I do hope that some of you you know like watching me create this background and obviously enjoyed you know the page as a whole really I know the first video wasn't that great but thank you for bearing with me please give me a thumbs up and like this video and if you haven't already please subscribe to happiness colors kirby i'll be back in a couple of days do my completed pages and i will also be doing a video um clip showing everyone's pages that they've um, added to the hashtag kirby autumn 2022 so that'll be coming up but next in the next few days so hopefully as we're getting into december now you know everyone's getting prepared and stuff like that but hopefully we'll still have lots of coloring time and hopefully i'll have a lot more videos coming up now now i'm getting the hang of the filming and editing as best as i can which isn't the best but hey ho we all have to take time to learn so we that base i will speak to you all soon happy Kirby colouring in the meantime. Love to you all. Take care. See you soon. Bye bye.